Hello, everybody. It's Dave Neal, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News. Our third video of the day. What a wild week it's been. We just shared that Abigail and Noah are engaged. She said yes. And we've also got our long story about Sean Booth. Uh, if you're interested in any political conversations or culture war issues, I'm telling you, it's a complicated one. We have that story up. And now, a simpler story. Caitlin Bristow spotted on set. On set of The Bachelorette? No, on set of The Gold Golden Bachelor. That's right. Gary uh, has his season of The Golden Bachelor coming up, and Caitlin Bristow has arrived in town. Not only that, we've got a video that has leaked that that Zachary Reality has. It's been a while since we've talked to Zachary Reality, and we're going to cover exactly. Not only do we find Caitlin Bristow, but we see a glimpse at some of the ladies that are on this season. So we're going to get into all of that in just a second. And in other content, I've got so much going on today, uh, so much in the news. We're going to be covering this all on the podcast, Bachelor Rush Hour. Mega Million winner was in Florida. You know I didn't win because I wouldn't be making three videos today, I'll tell you that much. But here's another winner, Cocaine Catch. Tampa Mayor hauls in 70 pounds of blow on a family fishing trip, and that'll wake you up. So I've got all these interesting stories that are non-Bachelor, plus your Bachelor news coming your way. Now, let's get in, by the way, to... Tomorrow, I'm going to have this Claire Crowley uh, clip here. Very fascinating story. We'll have that first thing in the morning. Not quite ready to talk about it today. But before we share the clip of Caitlin Bristow on set of Golden Bachelor, let's listen to what Ben and Ashley have to say about her breakup. But Bachelor Nation's Caitlin Bristow and Jason Tardick have split. I think that they still very much enjoy each other. Mm -hmm. And I think this is just them being like not compatible partners long term for life. I mean, there's obviously something, right? You don't just come to this. Yeah, conclusion I, I would because say nothing happens. They weren't compatible. She is somebody that I know personally, and I know she wants to be a mother, a wife. And I think when I watched and I saw this, that was one of the saddest parts to me. That's what I but, think of the most. But Bachelor Nation's Caitlin Bristow and Jason Tardick have split. All right, I so anyway, very f fascinating content they've got there. Oh, boy. Uh, and we're going to get into Caitlin Bristow. And uh, as she was seen, here she is right here. Of course, Zachary Reality stumbled upon the footage. Caitlin Bristow spotted filming The Golden Bachelor. Hey, guys, guess what? Stick around to the end of this video. I got a mystery box from Mimi in Pittsburgh. I don't know what's in it, but I'm going to open it at the end of this video. I'll leave it right here so I don't forget. All right, let's watch Caitlin spotted. Caitlin Bristow was spotted filming The Golden Bachelor. <laughs> so apparently they were filming at the Canyon Club in Agora Hills in Los Angeles. It was for the Golden Bachelor. So the audio is really bad here. So um, let's let's uh, let's play it without the audio. So this is where they are. You got a security guard, and these are the Golden Ladies of the Golden Bachelor. Uh, this this is them. We're gonna go back here. This is them. Right. See those little you know uh, some sneakers. Maybe they uh, don't, aren't changing into their, uh, you know, nice shoes. I was going to say their, uh, you know, arch support, whatever you need. Some cowboy boots, some cute jeans. They all look cute. These are ladies, I'm assuming pretty much uh, primarily in their 60s and 70s. Hey, they deserve to find love too. So uh, that's where they will be. And as we already spotted, Caitlin Bristow, uh, yesterday was shown on TMZ arriving in Los Angeles following her breakup with Jason Tartik. Hold on. I'm okay. Uh, I'm okay. You all right? Yeah, I'm okay. Tough times? Yeah, it's tough times. I mean, the easiest part is that we respect each other and love each other. And we're you just okay. grew out of love? I don't even know. I'm, I'm like, don't try to get me. I'm just saying this. No, I'm just, I'm just asking. No, I just, <laughs> like, I mean, whose who's choice was it? Um, honestly, it was both of ours. It was mutual? Yeah, yeah. We, we keep saying to, you know, the the door isn't permanently closed. That's why there's handles on it. We don't know okay. what's going on, but... So keeping it open to possibly reconciling. We're just, we just love each other, respect each other. We don't have any... We're sharing dogs. So uh, I was just ready to ask, who gets the dogs? Oh, gosh. Who's up to me? Me. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, are you co-parenting the dogs? co-parenting the dogs. All right. You could even see us walking the dogs together on a Sunday. We're, we're so good. Okay. Yeah. All right, let me ask you this. So you did come out as bisexual not too long ago. Are you open to dating a woman 
Next time around. That's so, wait, how did you hear that? Oh, I guess I say it on podcast. It is, you do, you do talk about it a little bit. I'm open to just love in general, but not at any time soon. Not any time soon. No. You're going to take time for yourself? Yeah. All right. Anything else that we need to know? I mean, you look good. You're happy. Now, I personally, we shared this yesterday. I find this interview to be very strange. And I don't in any way judge Caitlin for that, how strange it is. These conversations that happen, you know, she could be waiting for her driver. They're just stopped in the median there. Usually they make it look like they're not trying to talk to the paparazzi. But it's all it's all sort of theater arts in one way or another. But for all we know, this could be a paparazzi that's been very nice to her. So there is the aspect of being kind to the paparazzi so that they shoot you in a favorable way. So that they'll contact you if there's a damning story coming out. So it's really hard to tell what the energy is here. And it could just be this is her coping with her breakup. The, the ring, who gets the ring? Did you give him the ring back? I mean, I, we haven't really even gone that far to talk about a ring. Uh -huh. But I mean, that, he gave that to me. It's, it's, up it's to your him. ring. It's, it's up, up, to up to him. him. It's up to him. If yeah. he wants it back. But he, so she says I, he gave the ring to me, so it's up to him. Let's go over to Golden Bachelor and just see if they've got anything going on. Um, uh, let's see, Golden Bachelor here. Let's see if they've got anything happening. Golden Gary Turner. So nothing from him uh, because we know he's out there filming. Golden Bachelor. Let's see if we have that account. And then um, if there's nothing from them, we're going to go. How, oh, well, look at this. Two days ago. Happy 72nd birthday, Gary. We'll have to see if you got any special birthday presents. Maybe a Marilyn Monroe themed birthday song. Uh, we'll have to see. All right. Well, let's get to it. Let's go to this. I got my knife here. Let's go to Mimi in Pittsburgh here. We love Mimi. So let's see what she had to send me. I wasn't expecting a gift whenever you guys send me things. My, I have no idea what it could be. I'm not expecting anything. It's not my birthday. I'm not Gary. It's not my 72nd birthday. Let's see. Oh, there's another box. Hold on here. This is exciting. Don't you guys love a good unboxing? It's, it's, it's kind of got has the energy of like a Christmas ornament. Maybe Christmas in July? It's August. All right. Woo. Hold on. We have another. It feels like a t-shirt maybe. Oh, you guys can't see it because it's green screen. Oh, hold. Wait a second. Hold on. Is this what I think? What? I, I, I promise I didn't know what this was. Look at this, guys. Look at this. A golden bachelor t-shirt. <laughs> Mimi, where the hell did you get this? Oh boy, what a funny thing! I had I, I promise you this. I didn't line this up to have a golden bachelor T-shirt, but there it is, folks. She sent me a nice letter. We'll have to see what she. Maybe she tells us where she got this from. Let's see if this fits nice. Oh, very good, very good. All right, let's go to the comments here. I know this isn't the most uh, riveting. Dave from Mimi in Pittsburgh. Hi, surprise. I saw this and ordered it for you to wear during the Golden Bachelor recaps. I feel bad, though, because I got an XL thinking they would run small, so I should have gotten a large. Instead, hope, is, hope all is well with you and Tasha, your podcast pal, Mimi from Pittsburgh. How kind. No, Mimi, this fits perfectly. Maybe I'll shrink it in the wash. Unbelievable. Guys, I don't know what I did to deserve you. I truly don't. You guys are so kind out there. Anyway, that's your Caitlin Bristow update. I don't have any other news on Caitlin Bristow. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to be sharing the news on Claire Crowley and what she said about her past relationship with Dale Moss. We've got so many fun things to talk about out there. Again, we have new engagements and hopefully Gary finds love. Maybe we'll get engaged. Maybe we'll, who knows what's going to go down in the fantasy suites with old Gare Bear. But either way, thank you, Mimi in Pittsburgh, and thank you guys for all the support. We'll be back later with more content.